किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एंड मीनिंग ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन मेनी ऑफ यू माइट हैव डेवलप्ड अ हॉबी ऑफ कलेक्टिंग डिफरेंट थिंग्स दीज मे बी स्टैम्प्स कॉइन्स और स्टोन्स इफ दीज थिंग्स आर नॉट केप्ड सिस्टमैटिकली इट वुड बी डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड देम वेन यू नीड एवरीबडी डेवलप्स अ सिस्टम टू कीप दैम The stamps may be kept according to the country's name or according to the theme of picture printed on it. Coins may also be kept country-wise. Thousands of books are present in the library and they are kept subject-wise or author-wise. Whenever somebody requires a book, he would directly go to the concerned shelf and get the book. By these examples You can understand that all the items are grouped according to certain common characters. It is surprising to know that more than 10 to 13 million species of plants, animals and microorganisms exist in the world. Out of these, about 2 million organisms have been identified so far. In India alone, about 48,000 types of plants and 81000 species of animals are found plants and animals are widely distributed on the land water and many small organisms are also found in the atmosphere bacteria are present in very hot to very cold climate without any system and nomenclature the study of plants and animals is not possible so Several criteria have been taken into consideration for classification. The process of arranging a collection into groups or sets according to some common properties is called classification. Importance of classification. Since it is very difficult to study such a large number of organisms all together, they have been grouped into larger or smaller groups on the basis of certain similarities and differences thus the categorization of organisms into groups is very important as it is helpful in these ways living organisms of similar characters can be grouped and studied at the same time identification and naming of an organism becomes easier it provides collection and preservation of organisms it shows relationship between different organisms system of classification all living things were divided into two kingdom namely plant and animals later due to development of technology microscope was invented and there was an increase in the structure of different organisms so later r h whitaker a leading ecologist from usa proposed five kingdom classification in 1969 this classification is based on the cellular organization cell structure mode of nutrition etc five kingdom classification monera example bacteria unicellular protista example unicellular plants animals fungi example mushroom rhizopus multicellular and unicellular both but saprophytes plantae example higher plants multicellular animalia example multicellular animals important features of five kingdom classification kingdom monera this kingdom includes all the microscopic unicellular single celled organisms like bacteria and blue green algae the cells do not have definite nucleus these are the simplest of all organisms monerans are first life forms on earth They are found everywhere and reproduce by simple dividing into two separate cells. Examples: 
bacteria and blue green algae cyanobacteria kingdom protista this kingdom includes all the microscopic unicellular plants and animals the cells of protists have a well defined nucleus they move with organs of locomotion like cilia flagella or pseudopodia they possess different types of mode of nutrition some are autotrophic or heterotrophic or saprophytic in nature they are found almost everywhere examples amoeba paramecium euglena diatoms kingdom fungi this kingdom includes all molds yeasts and mushrooms they are unicellular to multicellular and cells have well defined nucleus fungi may resemble plants but they cannot make their own food they lack chlorophyll they grow on organic matter that is dead and decay matter they are saprophyte in nature fungi reproduce through spores know this truffles a kind of mushroom genus tuber grow below the ground are one of the world's most expensive foods one variety tuber menalosporum can cost up to rupees 85000 and 1 lakh 65000 per kilogram like plant cell fungi cell also have cell wall but they do not contain chlorophyll so they are not included in plants activity take a piece of bread sprinkle some water on it leave it a few days in warm place after that you will find bread mold growing on it scrap it and place it on the slide and observe the structure of bread under the microscope kingdom plantae almost all plants are multicellular organisms they are autotrophs means they can prepare their own food and contain chlorophyll they are of various size and shapes some plants are flowering plants but there are non flowering plants also present kingdom plantae contains almost 3 lakh different species of plants examples grass mango cycas pinus ferns etc kingdom animalia all animals are multicellular they are heterotrophs that is they cannot prepare their own food animals can move from one place to another with the help of nerves and muscles animals are classified into two major groups invertebrates and vertebrates kingdom animalia contains about 2 million species examples earthworm butterfly lion dog fishes frog human beings etc